I don't blame anyone for that. I really don't. I'm not, I'm not, not big on uh, Monday morning quarterbacking serious issues. And I understand having been in government much of my life, at the city level, more often at the federal level. I understand how complicated things are. And I really understand how easy it is, after the fact, to figure out everything you should have figured out before the fact and think you're real smart. And I think it's counterproductive. So I don't blame anybody for not getting it beforehand. I really don't. I wish we did. We all wish we did. But I think people of good faith just missed it. I do blame people who don't get it after September 11, 2001, though. Now there's no excuse. Now we know what they have done, which nobody else has done to us, at least not in modern times. And we know what they're capable of. And here's the answer to it. In order to keep ourselves safe, no longer, ever again, should we be on defense against terrorism. We must remain And in many, many ways that we can describe over the next year, year and a half, I think I can explain to you and prove to you that this election is going to be about that. Particularly with what went on in Congress over the last week or two weeks. A debate over setting a schedule for retreat. And the people who have to deal with that are the American soldiers and the American Marines who are going to be sitting there at various times with pre-announced depleted forces. Does that make any sense? Is that right? Well, we need leadership in this country that understands how we have to remain on offense against terrorists and understands that we have to explain this, I understand that we have to explain this better and even more effectively to the American people. Because I truly believe in my heart and soul that if we explain this correctly, the vast majority of the American people will know what we're talking about. And I even... <laughs> I have given this speech on leadership maybe 200 times, maybe 300 times, maybe 400 times. I've given it in about half the states in, I don't know, 20, 30 countries. And what I point out is that a leader and you have my book. You can, you can read about it in my book. Thank you. You have? Is it, a good, is it a good book? It is a good book. See? She said it's a good book. <laughs> well, the real trick is if you have a, a book of mine that isn't autographed. I've autographed so many of my books that the joke is the real valuable book that you can sell on the internet is one without my autograph. So, but the, the truth is that what leadership is about and I learned this from Ronald Reagan and wrote about it in my book. What leadership is about, yes, you have to understand public opinion. And yes, you have to be sensitive to public opinion. But leadership is about not just getting somebody who's going to read polls and respond to polls. If Abraham Lincoln responded to polls, if they had polls, then they didn't. But if Abraham Lincoln had responded to popular sentiment, we would have announced a retreat from the Civil War in 1863. And the country would be separated, and slavery would have continued, and the number of casualties would have, we would have had by that act would have been considerably greater over the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years of conflict. Lincoln understood that. Lincoln understood that he was going against the grain of public opinion. But Lincoln also was a leader.